South Africa's low-cost housing shortage is being addressed from a new perspective here in the Western Cape. Local government and NGOs have found a way to include alternative green technologies in housing projects in the province. Naz Sali filed this report. The Rocklands Urban Abundance Centre is a community teaching hub situated in the poverty-stricken Mitchells Plain suburb on the Cape Flats. It is managed by non-profit organisation SEED and is home to South Africa's first post-carbon homestead. A green building project aimed at running alongside the city of Cape Town's goals to alleviate housing shortages. It's built from waste. All of its energy needs are, are supplied on site. There's strategies for waste. There's plant systems for construction, medicine, food. Um, and everything's off the grid. So the washing machine, for example, is, is pedal powered. So it's an exercise bike connected to a washing machine so that you don't have electricity. Um, there's a solar geyser, so that's, yeah, that takes care of the hot water. And then there's also solar panels for electricity. The post-carbon homestead was built earlier this year and reflects wider green building adoption trends in South Africa. A, a green building is a building that uses less resources, less energy, less water than other buildings. And um, the, the reason it's important for us is because we, we're sort of starting to approach the limits of so many different resources. You know, the world's, world's in, a, in a serious um, condition of resource depletion. Um, and of course, there's the whole energy issue and CO2 with uh, climate change. So a green building can reduce the, the consumption of energy by at least 50%, up to, up to 70%. And in fact, some are actually energy positive. They're producing more energy than, than they would. And similarly for water and similarly for, um, for the disposal of, of waste. The cost of building this prototype was on par with that of the standard government supplied house. 100,000 rand. This house was built, well it was planned around the floor, floor plan size mm. and the budget of an RDP house. So it's 23 square meters, which is quite a small space, but I think you'll see that the space is quite beautiful. The key aim with the homestead is to educate communities on how to adopt some of the low carbon systems into their households, something that the city of Cape Town has already been incorporating in this strategy to raise awareness of the viability of green building. Look, I think there is also the, 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 the factor that needs to, you know, that you need to factor in is uh, what we refer to as the knock factor. Uh, and that is um, when people, when you give people a house, the first thing that they do is they knock on the walls. Uh, and, you know, this is also one of the things with, uh, you know, with alternative building technology. It doesn't give them that brick and mortar feel. And, you know, sometimes there's, there's, there's acceptance of alternative building methods. But that's exactly what we're trying to overcome through the housing, housing uh, consumer education. The Western Cape government has recently invited so-called alternative contractors to bid for the construction of around 2,000 houses in the region. This is a small dent in the total of 500,000 houses on the waiting list, but shows a commitment towards newer sustainable building methods.